fire air at times during the middle of the day. I do want to make you aware of what's going on out in the tropics as well. We don't have anything in the Gulf. Great news. The Caribbean feature we were watching that moisture is still traveling, but it just doesn't look like it's going to develop at all. So great news there. We don't have any threats in the tropics to our area. Now the tropics, they're a little bit active. We don't have any name systems, but we do have a couple tropical waves. We're watching medium chance. This one develops off the continent of Africa and a high chance that we get a depression or maybe a storm out of Invest 91. It's still elongated. There's some showers and storms, but still got some dry air. It's still got some shear from an upper level low spinning to the north of it. So it's probably not going to do much in the near term, but in the long term, as we go into the weekend, it'll have a better chance of becoming a depression. Most guidance does take this northwest fairly slowly over the next couple of days. Notice just north of the islands of Puerto Rico and uh, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands by this weekend. And then watch what happens as it starts to approach the Bahamas. It turns. So a lot of guidance is turning into this out to sea. Reason for that, interestingly enough, has to do with what's happening out west. They got a big heat wave on going out west this week and into the weekend. That big ridge of high pressure means there's going to be a trough developing on the uh, other side of it. So as you get your ridge building the heat, you get a trough digging down. And remember, a trough digging down over the east over here will pull anything in the Atlantic with it. So as that trough digs down, as we go into the weekend and early next week into Labor Day, looks like it's going to take Invest 91. And then as it interacts with that trough, notice it immediately turns. So Bermuda will certainly keep an eye on this and the island should watch this too. But right now, a lot of our guidance shows that ridge being strong sends a trough down, picks up Invest 91 and takes it out to the Atlantic. So that would be great news for us here in the US. But locations like the islands and especially Bermuda should watch that one long term. By the way, the next name is Danielle. It has been since July 3rd since we've had a named system. So it has been a long, long time. There's your seven day forecast. I don't think anyone's complaining about that. We'll be in the low 90s into the 80s as we go into the end of the work week with higher chances for rain. April.